From South Bend, Indiana, this is the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Notre Dame and Georgia Tech fought double overtime, and the Irish come away with their 14th win of the year. Welcome back, everybody. Tim Brand along with Bobby Kremens. Bobby, this was a game that you would expect to see in a tournament, <laughs> not in the opening part of the ACC season. Oh, Mike Gray, he summed it up best. He said it was a great college basketball game, and that's absolutely what it was. I'm really proud of Georgia Tech. They played a great game. But Notre Dame and the overtimes, they, especially the beginning of both overtimes, they made some great plays. Gritty game by both teams. And this was a situation where Notre Dame had a lot of turnovers. They had nine in the first half. They only averaged nine for the entire season in, that, in a game. Yeah, it's too bad now. They, they have to go to Chapel Hill and play against North Carolina. North Carolina is going to be there. You know, Kennedy Meeks, uh, Bryce Johnson. It's going to be interesting to see if Notre Dame, how they deal with that size. But the most important thing, I think, for Notre Dame is rest. Double overtime game, now go to Chapel Hill. So um, Georgia Tech, they have a home game in about four days against Syracuse, which barely beat Virginia Tech today. So the Irish are at disadvantage Monday night. Jaron Grant and Connaughton, they were the two big factors in the overtime periods for Notre Dame, and they are high-flying, gravity-defined guys. I love this guy. I mean, you know, he's the total package. You know, Jaron Grant. You'd like to see him make some more outside shots, but what an athlete, what a penetrator, what a team player, what a passer. I mean, he finds his teammates. Again, the, the entire second half, they did not score one perimeter shot, and that shot was in the overtime. Um, Pat Connaughton, after missing two crucial free throws in regulation, comes through with a big three. Take a look at the final stats, and it was a big rebounding game for Georgia Tech. Yes. They out-rebounded the Irish 46-31. to 31. That certainly was a factor. Turnovers became. So it wasn't a perfectly played game, no. but it was a gritty, gutsy game by both teams. Yeah, there's nothing they can do about the size because Notre Dame has four perimeter players. But what they can do is those turnovers. They can learn to take care of the basketball, and they're going to have to do that Monday night. They're going to get out-rebounded Monday night. Everybody knows that. But if North Carolina causes a lots of turnovers, then they're going to be in trouble. But what a gutty, great win. They're 2-0 at home. So if they go on the road and, and if they don't play well and lose, that's okay. You've got to, you've got to hold serve at home. Brian Gregory's team goes to 9-4. and four. Gutty performance by them. But it was the fighting Irish of Notre Dame that kept coming back, kept coming back. It was Grant and Connaughton. They did it. They take it now to 14-1. Thanks for watching the ACC Network. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.